Have you seen those planters that are a head with a face and then the plant is the hair? I love those. I did try to buy one, but I don't like any that are on Amazon and the cute nursery here sold out, but I still really want one. What's a girl supposed to do? I'm Anna and I'm going to make a planter out of a styrofoam head. I got this head for free and I just noticed that it still has a pin in it. But on a recent trip to Dollarama, I noticed that they carry them. So you can get them at Dollarama and you can order them for sure on Amazon. To complement the styrofoam head, I have these H&M glasses that I thrifted for $3.49. They're perfectly good sunglasses, so I feel a little bit bad using them, but they suit this little face so well. Isn't that adorable? And lastly, I have the hair. I don't know what kind of plant this is, but it was on clearance for $5 at the Home Depot, and it even came with a free dead bug. The rest of the supplies that I'm going to need are E6000, drywall compound, or drywall mud as it's better known around here, and of course, spray paint. I could use the pot that the plant is currently in, but I want to give the roots some room to grow. So I'll be transferring the hair into a slightly larger plastic pot. I need to make the cutout in my darling styrofoam's head to fit in the pot. So I don't really have experience in this, but I'm going to trace it out and then I'm going to use hopefully this knife, maybe a series of different knives and my fingers to cut this out. Kind of looks like he's wearing a hat now. He's wearing a fez. Let's get to cutting. I've discovered I have a special talent. Styrofoam lobotomies. This pot fits so perfect. I'm already covered in styrofoam, so I thought this would be a good time just to get stuck into another messy task. The head is a little beat up, and I don't love the texture of the styrofoam, so I'm going to give the whole head a skim coat of drywall compound. The drywall compound has dried here on my little friend, so I'm ready to move on. Oh, and I did take off the price tag and wash these really well. I even used like the Goo Gone to make sure there's no stickiness. So these are all ready for painting. Spray painting is one of my favorite things in the world. I don't know why, I just really like it. And so when I get to spray paint, I get pretty happy. This is what my little friend looks like. The swirls are a little too I don't know, dramatic. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of a sand and then once that's all sanded and all, I'm, I'm happy with how it looks, both the glasses and my friend here are going to be spray painted with this creme de la creme. That's actually the name of it, creme de la creme. So he gets a really fancy treatment, but I am going to spray paint them separately first. Then I will attach the glasses and then I'll give them another coat together. Before I go any further, I want to attach the glasses to the head permanently. So I'm going to be using E6000, but I already have a layer of like the skim coat, the compound. So if I just glue the glasses right onto the head right now, I'm really just gluing it onto that skim coat and I don't think that'll hold. So I'm have a little bit of a plan. I'm going to put the glasses where I want them, mark it off and then mark it off with my marker. 
and then cut away any of the drywall compound and then I can apply the E6000 and let my little friend here sit for a bit and then I can continue on with my painting or whatever other texture I want to add. You might be wondering, why do I have a plunger and a paper towel holder here along with my little head? Well, he's top heavy and I'm afraid that when I add the plant, the top heaviness will get even worse. I mean, it's all due to his shape. To fix the top heaviness, I wanna make him a base. Well, he has a hole in the bottom. So I thought I could have something secured in that hole and I picked up, well, I thrifted this Ikea paper towel holder and I was really pumped about it. I thought this will work until I realized, I kind of guessed that it would fit, but it doesn't. But I have it for another project and I only need part of it, so that's why I have one. But it fits perfectly in the hole and it will like really support it. My plan is to cut down the plunger and secure it to the paper towel holder and then secure it to my planter head. Oh, one more thing. I don't like this color. It's too not right retro. So I'm going to strip it, but I don't know what color I'm gonna refinish it in. First step, taking it apart and stripping it and then cutting this down. While I was removing the finish off of this base, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with it. I first thought it was gonna go dark, but I really like the idea of seeing the natural wood. So I'm going to give it a really, really light coat of whitewash. It's actually gonna be some cream wash and just some cheapo acrylic paint and water on here. Then I'm gonna let that dry and then put some white wax over it. So I'll still be able to see a lot of the wood, but it'll just be kind of just a bit lighter. It's not gonna be bleached, it's just gonna be lighter. But before I do that, I have to attach my little doodad here. It's really late, it's almost midnight. But this has been drying for over eight hours and I want to get the wax on it before I go to bed so then this can dry overnight. Not bad. 
Well, this is done and so am I, so good night. Good morning. It stormed last night, but I slept right through it, so I guess that was a pretty good sleep. But this needs some white wax, and the white wax needs to sit, it says overnight, but this is early morning, so I'm gonna just let it sit until the afternoon, and then I can buff it out. It's the afternoon and this is definitely dry enough to buff. I didn't put a really thick coat on so it's not like it really needs overnight to dry. So this will be buffed. And my little friend's back. He's been sealed with a satin sealer so he's got a little bit of sheen to him. He's looking quite handsome. And the plant has been repotted. So let's buff and then I'm going to glue this to the head Sounds so weird with E6000. This was a really fun project to do and it adds some modern whimsy to my office here. To me this seems like a project that teens would really like doing and you can get really creative. You can use different spray paint textures and colors. You can go really funky with some colors and you can make him silver. And you can, if you used one of the styrofoam heads as a face, you can add earrings or a necklace or just whatever other creative, I don't know, a nose ring. And the selection of plants. You could go really funky. Any trailing plant would work. And then if you used an upright plant, it would look like a faux hawk. Hmm. I think I need to make a few more of these. There's a lot of ideas with this. Thanks for watching this video. Show some love to this guy here by liking this video. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll see you soon with another project. This video, this video. I just did a video. I, I don't even know what to say for myself. There's, there's no words. He'll see you soon too. Okay, maybe not. He's just gonna hang out with me, but do 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 do. Hi. I named him Herman. Isn't that cute? We're BFFs. I think I need to water him. It's been a couple days. I see. Not yet. He's still okay. Oh, I can't wait till this grows really bushy. I hope it's like a big afro. Because I love those. My brother has one and I'm so jealous. Because my hair's pretty straight. Anyways, bye!